Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hey everyone, looking at oil. So here on StockCharts.com, the candlestick closed in a bullish reversal doji, holding the 100-day moving average support just like yesterday at 46, let's see, 46.59. So just above that level, the lower Bollinger Band will have to become support tomorrow, and we will need a bullish reaction to the inventory report in order to confirm this candlestick. So the bears took over once low 49 support broke, and that's due to the lack of support on the move to the upside. And check out the gold video I just did because it's fairly similar, but in the opposite direction where we had the gold dump. And now we're working back through that dump. And because it was such a fast move to the downside, not much resistance was established. So it's a lot easier to go back up to the upside. And just like here, not a bunch of support was established in this zone between 47 and 49, which is why we dumped through it in two days. So on the weekly time frame, we have the middle Bollinger Band and 100-week moving average, 46.53, 46.41. The bulls really want to hold that level and maintain these higher lows. And at this point, it would still be normal, healthy consolidation on a weekly time frame standpoint if that is where a new higher low was formed. And obviously, that depends on the inventory report. So here on USO, we have, or US Oil, I should say, we have the long-term uptrend support line, and this is going back to August. So this is a two-month uptrend line. It was establishing the zone for the tightening range before the OPEC breakout. And now here we are bouncing right off that level, bouncing off weekly support, bouncing off daily 100-day moving average. So if the bounce were to materialize, this is where it would happen. So we'll see what kind of follow-through. Again, the inventory report is a little bit of a tricky scenario here. If there were no inventory report, I would absolutely be looking for the bulls to show up tomorrow on oil, but have to take everything with a grain of salt with that inventory report still waiting. Key resistance on the hourly, 47.32, that would be a bullish break, and have us looking up at 47.53 and 48.71. So again, because of the dump from 48.60s down to 46.60s, there's not going to be a ton of resistance here on a move. So if we get a bullish reaction to the inventory report, we could very easily see a 2 2.5% move to the upside, especially if we break 47.32 and start to get some higher highs on the hourly time frame. Let's look at it one more way here on the 4-hour chart, a little bit more condensed, very clear step stair-stepping lower. There's that dump where the resistance isn't going to be too tough if we can get above the top of the bounce attempt of 47.32. And it is a bullish reversal doji here on the four hour chart as well. Although this candlestick does have, let's see, it was formed at two. So we've got an hour and 15 minutes left in that candlestick. So we'll see what the inventory report brings tomorrow. We're going to have lots of volatility all over the place with the FOMC. But in terms of oil, looking for the bulls to defend all those supports daily, weekly, uptrend, and they need to follow through here. Otherwise, we could be headed down. Let's say we get a bearish reaction. Next support I'm looking at is down at 46.60. We already broke that, although we're still holding it now. After 46.60, we're looking down here at 44, the low $44 range where the base of support was built at the end of September. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. We'll check back in after hours. Have a great night.